Hi everybody. Um, I am so upset. I recorded. I don't know how many minutes it was telling you what happened to me yesterday. Now I have to do the first half all over again. Okay. What happened was in June, my air conditioner broke, and my cockatiel I had striper. I only had the bathroom window cracked like two inches, and he escaped. And I put the travel cage out there and food and toys, and I looked for him every day for weeks. So finally, I faced the fact that he's probably gone forever. So I wanted to buy another cockatiel, and they're really expensive here. They're like 300 or 600 I think. Well, there's a pet store that I can get to, and I go in there occasionally to buy stuff, and and everything's high. But I always look at all the animals and the birds and stuff, and I think they were six fifty. I think and that was like uh, it's been a year since I've been in there. Anyhow, so I call. You know, I'm looking online. My problem is, can I get there? Because as I've said many times before, my bus system is really bad. It sucks. So I see this one store called Boro Birds, like for Murphy's Boro, and it's off of I-840 or I-480, and that didn't sound good to me, but I thought, well, you know, it's not that far away. I can take a cab, and I Googled it, and it was from my house, I think it's 6.9 miles away, and no, the bus doesn't go there. So I thought, well, you know, uh, I'll splurge on a cab because I'm really, I miss my bird. So I'm talking to this guy and, you know, and I told him, you know, I was like, yeah, I, I don't drive anymore and the bus don't go out there and I'm going to take a cab. And he said, look, if you want a bird, he says, I don't make deliveries, but I'll deliver a bird for you. I was like, well, well, that's half the problem solved right there, right? So... About 15 minutes later, my phone goes off, and he says, hey, I'll tell you what. He says, um, would you like two birds? I said, no, 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 I'm just going to buy the one. He says, no, he says, um, I'll give you two birds. Here, let me send you a picture. And I just, I just started crying because that's one of the nicest things that anybody has ever done to me. I mean, he's a perfect stranger, right? So, uh, we made arrangements, and he dropped him off yesterday about 4.30. I hate having to say all this again. The first part didn't record. But anyhow, one is smaller than the other. They're both pied cockatiels, and, um, my birds that I had and that I bred, males have faded looking cheeks and they have like these stripes, these bands underneath their tails. And the females have bright orange cheeks. So, okay. I mean, I mean I'm mean, i sorry. I'm getting confused. I'm emotional. The males have bright orange cheeks and the females have faded cheeks. And the males have the bands underneath their tail feathers. So anyhow, they both have bright orange cheeks. And neither of them have bands underneath their tail. And one's bigger than the other. So you know how some people have dogs and they name them Harley and Davidson and or Smith and Wesson? So I named, they weren't named, so I named them Lemon. And drop. Lemon drop. Yeah, you hear your name, honey? So anyhow, I'm thinking, well, what if the little one catches up and gets to be the big or the same size as the bigger one? So I look and it's so funny. Okay. Oh you she's looking at me. Yeah. The bigger one, Lemon, his his breast feathers are so light gray, they're almost white, and the smaller one drop, her feathers are, like, her, her uh, breast feathers are all gray, so I'm like, cool, 
I'm not going to mix them up. I'll call them the right name. And then, lo and behold, the little turkey butt drop happens to have a black band around your ankle. So, problem solved. Now, I don't know if I said this on the other video I'm going to post after this, because that's the one it recorded, because I'm a dork. But, um, I'm going to keep them in the travel cage for a couple of days, not because I, oh, my cage, I think you've seen pictures, it's big as I am. But, um, you know how people, I don't know if I said this on the second part, but it's about karma. And you know how people say, oh, he's going to get his karma, or, or they've got karma coming to them, blah, blah, blah. But nobody ever talks about the good karma. And about a year ago, there's this lady I know. I've known her since 2017. Her and her minor daughter and her husband, they were all going to get evicted. So I loaned her an awful lot of money. And she hasn't paid me back a dime. And she got people calling me a liar. But anyhow, I think I got some karma yesterday. I got the most beautiful birds. And they're going to be spoiled, and I'm going to love them. And when I brought them home, um, I put them right, literally right beside me in their cage. And I talked to them for about 15 minutes. And then I got my way. Yeah, I'm sneaky, huh? I played them the Andy Griffith whistle song, and oh boy, they loved that. And then about two hours after I had them, the little one dropped. I put my finger up through the bar, you know, because her face was pressed close up to these, you know, closest to me. And she gripped, reached out with her little foot, and she grabbed my finger nice, and she held my finger for about five minutes. And she makes little itty bitty squeak, Can you hear that? I'm deaf, and I can barely hear it. But all this time, she's making little squeakies at me. So I take that as a good sign. And I put my arm in the cage, you know, and I just rest it there. And they don't try to bite me. But, um, you know, they won't. Well, I take that back. Once already. Um, Lemon, the big one, got on my hand for like 30 seconds. So this is um, pretty rapid progress. I only got them like at 5.30 yesterday. But I was so excited. I was so tickled, boy. I tell you what, I, I swear, I almost peed my pants. I was sitting out on the porch waiting for him to come up. And you know how, you know how like people get ripped off? Okay, that's it. That's it. That's all Mama did.